create. Hello and welcome to Pixascene. This video will show you how to create rollovers that pop up as images or text in Acrobat X Pro. In this example, I would like to make this family tree be more interactive. I have information I would like to offer about individuals on this chart, but I do not want to clutter up the page. So I am going to create hotspots that when rolled over will pop up with an image. To add rollover text is easy. You can add a button or text or a graphic. You can even add a rollover to a portion of the image so that when the user hovers over one of the boxes, an informational graphic automatically pops up. For example, if the user hovers over Robert Smith, they will see a picture of Robert. The hover action is called a hotspot or link. We need to create two buttons, one for the link and one for the image that will pop up. But first, some tips. Use the project approach. A good practice when creating any project is to create a folder for that project on your desktop to store all of the graphics, icons you need. Depending on the size of your project, you may want to create a document or spreadsheet to help you organize the text as well as making notes about the graphic name, the type, the size, and what text might go with it. Now when you are ready to start creating your pop-ups, you will have everything you need in one location. I like to keep my original working document and then create copies for different renditions. Create your icons. You can use all the same sized icons or vary them depending on the content. It's up to you. Just be mindful of the document workspace. If you are creating an 8.5 by 11 inch document, it obviously doesn't make sense to create a pop-up that is larger than your document. But it's okay to create a pop-up that takes up most of the window if that's what you would like to do. Note, you may want to copy your images into the folder versus altering the originals. Acrobat supports most graphic formats. Visit their website if you have any questions. Create your document. After you have created a document in MS Word or another program, you need to save it as a PDF. Keep your original document in your project folder in case you need to make edits later. Great, let's get started. We will be using the create a form function. Open your PDF document and click on create, then choose PDF forms. Alternately, you can choose forms from the upper right hand corner of your PDF document. First create the pop-up. You need something to link to from your hotspot. Choose add new field and then choose button. Draw out the area that you are placing your image in. Name the field so that you know it is the image. Click on All Properties. Under General tab, choose Hidden in the Form field and check Read Only. On the Appearance tab, make sure your fill color is set to No Color. You can add a border if you want. On the Options tab, choose Icon Only and the behavior can be set to None. Choose Icon. Go out to your file and choose the icon that you would like to pop up. Note that you may have to choose what type of file you are looking for. Click on OK. No need to do anything under the Actions tab. Click Closed. Note that there are handles around your photo, so feel free to resize the box to fit around your photo if you added a border. You can also move the photo around the page to show up where it makes sense. Now let's create the hotspot. Here is where you want the user to be able to hover or roll over an area on your page and see your image pop up. Choose Add New Field and then choose Button. Draw out the area that you want to be the hotspot or link to your image. Name the field so that you know it is the hotspot. Click on All Properties. Under General tab, choose Visible under Form Field. Under Appearance tab, make sure Border and Fill Color are set to No Color. Under Options tab, make sure Label Only is selected. Behavior should be Invert or None. Under Actions tab, select Trigger and choose Mouse Enter and under Select Action, choose Show Hide a Field. Click Add. Click on the picture field that you would want to pop up and select Show. Do the same for Mouse Exit except choose Picture Field and select Hide. Save your document. You can go back and edit if you miss something. Do you want to be a PDF rock star? Look through our other tutorials and watch for new ones to see other ways to enhance your PDF documents.